Wonder Woman was absolutely epic. Yes, hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and we have another film review. And this time I'm a bit tired. It's last night, I was at midnight release of Wonder Woman. <sighs> now my usual route of giving film reviews is I just tell you everything that happened and that's it. But because Wonder Woman is a household name, everyone knows her name, not everybody knows her origin and stuff and where she comes from and what she can do. So I want you guys to hit that and experience it yourselves. So I'm just going to run down the, like, you know, what I liked about the film and what it did well and stuff and where it fits in and, and all that kind of stuff. So there'll be minimal, I'll put the warning up, minimal spoilers alert. As minimal as I can. Starting now. Come here, you. That's me girlfriend. Hopefully this doesn't, hopefully this doesn't just turn into a big rampage and a, a rant because... Um, there's a lot of the deep, the new era of DC Warner Brother films which have been crap. But Man of Steel was was fine. It was great. It was just a good last battle. Uh, Batman v Superman was a bit was a bit lame. Again, just a good last battle. Suicide Squad was absolutely awful. The worst superhero film I've ever seen in my life. Wonder Woman needed to be good, and she did it really well. All right, the film. Um, great look at Famous Korea, uh, the island that she's from. Oh, just beautiful visuals. So good. The Amazons. We've seen all them. Um, the only criticism I have with them, they couldn't show the Amazons doing anything that wasn't in slow-mo. Everything was slow-mo, which is great. It's awesome to see these brilliant slow-mo actions and, you know, shooting their arrows and stuff. But every detail doesn't need to be slow-mo. Sometimes it looks better when it's just normal or even sped up a little bit. But, mm, uh, when Chris Pine gets added to the film, Chris, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah, I uh, can't remember the actor's name, then no, it's Chris Pine. Um, when he gets added to the film, great comedic uh, points put in. It's another thing to point out, the film was so funny, there was, they could have easily done a, a, just a, a serious, straightforward um, Wonder Woman film, uh, but they didn't, they got a lot of comedic value out of this, which is, like, again, really great to see. Um, he, Wonder Woman had a really good point, there's, the, there's a moment where she's looking at him and he's naked and uh, <laughs> he's on about like, how he's above average and stuff like that, you, you'll see when you get it. It was just really funny. The, re the reason I believe it's the best um, Warner Brothers DC film out of the new modern era is because instead of just chucking a bunch of characters together and making a film, so there you go, would, you know, Man of Steel not being in that thingy, but Batman v Superman, just chuck them together, do whatever you want, um, even though she was in that, and Suicide Squad, just chuck them together, do what you want. They stood back and they said, right, let's let's show everybody who Wonder Woman is, where she come from, what she can do, um, where she fits in everything. So they, they, they took time and care, developing her character really well. And it wasn't like an origin story where it just dragged on and then a little battle and finish. Origin story, great middle sections where she's showing off her powers and just battering everybody. So cool. Um, so they did it really well. I don't I just don't know why they can't do this with Aquaman and stuff. I know that they will later on, but why did they need to jump to Justice League right now? Which I think we're going to go to the cinema and be disappointed. I hope I'm wrong. Hopefully... This says it here, this I get proved wrong. <sighs> but yeah, no, great character development. You really understood who Wonder Woman was, where she come from. The action scenes, apart from the little, it's only a little thingy about the slow-mo stuff, but the action scenes on a whole were beautiful. Um, there's a scene, this is one of the spoilers I'm going to have to say. There's a scene um, where she's on the battlefield, the Germans against, like the, I, th I think it's the British. They never actually say, it's just the front line, so it could be British and French and whoever else. Uh, but she gets up from the trenches and she's just using her shield, pushing back the bullets and, the, you know, the music kicks in and she's taking a hammering off the bullets but her shield's going for it. Ah, oh, and it was so cool. And uh, the lasso of truth, um, she's got a lasso of truth. <sighs> the way that they made this video look, she's chucking it around and stuff and she's getting pe Oh my God, it was beautiful to see. It was, oh, it looks so good. They didn't show the invisible jet, visible plane, which is good. I thought at the end, it ends and she's deeper in the air. I thought though she was going to jump on it, but she didn't. That's cool. But the last of truth, her outfit, everything looked brilliant. Uh, and then after the action sequence in the, the trenches, she gets into like a building. And <sighs> she's just taking out these dudes in close combat. They're coming at her. She's deflecting bullets away with her gauntlets. And she's turning. She's kicking. She's doing kick. Oh, it's such a good... The action sequences are amazing. And she's just really, really sexy. As well as the awesome action scenes in the comedy, we also got a nice little romance. A bit of... But if I love you type moments, um, which is cool, you know, I'm a sucker for romance, um, so I'm happy to chuck that on board. And it adds to her character a bit more, um, it shows you her more sensitive side, because Wonder Woman is an Amazon, she's tough, she's strong, so it shows more of a sensitive side. 
It was always nice to see and oh, so good. As to where she fits in now to the DC universe, the DC cinematic universe, there's not really much to go on because this is obviously a step back. Um, this isn't a huge spoiler, but anyway, the film starts off. She gets a picture received from Bruce Wayne um, showing an old photo of her old team. And it just basically goes into a flashback. And then the film ends with her coming back to the modern age. So yeah, there's, yeah, there, there was no after scene for after the credits. If you're watching this, don't stay after the credits. There's no after scene or anything. It, it just ends um, because we know what our next move is. We know that she's just going to, back to modern times, link up with the Justice League and do whatever she's got to do. As far as Easter eggs go, I didn't see much. A uh, couple of Wayne Enterprises stuff, and then there was a couple of names in the background. So if there's if there's loads that I missed, please let me know in the comments below, and then say, Dan, how did you miss them, you friggin' idiot? Um, yeah, that was kind of annoying. I was hoping to see a lot more Easter eggs. Maybe I'm just was just being stupid last night. How's this how's this review wrapping up? Yeah, like I said, usually I just tell the story of the whole entire film. Oh, a, a lasso of truths come up. She looks a lot older in this action figure. Um, and yes, that, actually that's a good point. The costume itself, it's not like the whole classic American, because obviously she's not from America. It's not the whole American-y type stuff. It's uh, like a nice, it's, you can still see, it's got the blue and the red and stuff in it. It's a really, really awesome take on the, the costume. Um, I won't reveal who, but the, the main villain throughout the whole film, you don't sort of get it at first because you, you're on the question of it's true or not. But the main villain is, is Ares, um, which is cool to see them chuck that in there. Obviously, the Germans. The amount of times that they said the, the Germans was quite funny. But no, um, I, li I liked, you know, the whole... Because obviously, anyway, she's got the, the, the Greek mythology in the background of Wonder Woman. And I love Greek mythology as it is. So they kept it all in the film. Uh, so it was really cool to see that. I think that rounds it up. Like I said, it's weird doing a review like this. Just pointing out the really cool parts and stuff. And the really parts that maybe I didn't like. Like I said, the only parts that I really didn't like was the too much slow-mo. Um... Action sequences was awesome. Got romance in there. Got funny. Um, really awesome character development. They, 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 this is the first film that, apart from like the Dark Knight trilogies and stuff like that, but this is the first film that I feel like the character, and maybe Superman. I don't know yet. Uh, the Man of Steel film, but this is the first film that I think DC and Warner Brothers are given one of their iconic, legendary characters true justice on the big screen. Um, that's how I feel about it anyway. Maybe, maybe you guys feel different. But yeah, the romance comedy action sequences were beautiful. So I'm going to give this film a solid 7.5 out of 10. I just straight away, the, one of the posters did say best uh, superhero film of all uh, of, of the year. And I was like, well, it won't be that. But it, it was great. It was awesome. So hopefully Justice League proves me wrong. And Justice League can just absolutely knock it out of the park. That would be beautiful to see. But I don't think it's going to. But that was the review. Did I do good? Yeah, so um, maybe this is a better way of doing reviews. Maybe this, this is how I should do it in the future instead of going, right, this happened in scene one, scene two, scene three. Whatever. Let us know in the comments below. And hopefully you guys did enjoy this film review. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and as always, leave that like, subscribe if you haven't already. The Wonder Woman midnight release vlog that I filmed all day yesterday will be going up not long after this video. And uh, peace out.